Hello, my name is Joseph Lanasa and I am a technical writer for Synergy Advisors. Today I'd like to show you how you can use Microsoft Rights Management Services, or Microsoft RMS, to securely protect and share sensitive Office documents in your organization. You will see how the protection options are built into the Office user interface for easy end user adoption. I'll show you how permissions are embedded into the file so they provide persistent and granular protection. This means that as a document author, I can specify both who has access to sensitive information and can control what is done with that information. Before you can successfully create and consume protected content, you must bootstrap each client computer that will be utilizing Microsoft RMS. Bootstrapping is the process of preparing a machine and user to participate in the Microsoft RMS platform. This process occurs the first time that a user logs into their directory or attempts to view protected content. Bootstrapping is completely transparent to the end user. When a user logs into their directory through an RMS-enabled application, the application locates the RMS service. The user is then authenticated and identified as a user within the context of the RMS platform. The RMS service now sends RMS digital certificates to the client computer to identify the computer for future uses. Upon receiving these files, the client computer is bootstrapped, and the user can create, consume, and share protected content. The file that is protected is never sent to the RMS service. Protection remains with the file regardless of the distribution method. Let's start on a client computer where Chase has just finished working on a sensitive financial report that he needs to protect and share with his coworker. Chase is logged on to his computer using directory credentials, enabling him to use Microsoft RMS. Notice the cryptographic files located in the MSIPC folder signifying that the computer has been bootstrapped. Bootstrapping automatically takes place behind the scenes upon login. The end user is not required to verify that bootstrapping has taken place. The Share Protected feature is a one-click icon to protect and share a sensitive document. Chase can use the slider bar to grant his coworker different permission levels according to each ad hoc policy. In this case, he wants to allow his coworker permission to view the document, but not take any actions on that document. He will also set an expiration date on the content, which will prevent the recipient from accessing the document once the specified date has arrived. Notice that this automatically creates a draft mail message with the protected file attached. Chase will send the message to Leia and share the protected document with her. Microsoft RMS has the ability to provide automatic protection to content. Additionally, Microsoft RMS can protect email messages. We will explore these options in later demonstrations. Now that the document has been sent, the recipient must be able to access it. First, the recipient attempts to open the document with an RMS-enabled application. The application locates the RMS service and requests authentication. The RMS service then validates that the recipient is authorized to view the protected content and sends a list of permissions for the user to the application. The user is now permitted to access the content based on the given permissions. Let's move to the recipient's computer as Leia attempts to view the protected document. Leia will open the email and then open the attachment. She'll click View Permission to see what rights she has within this document. Leia can view the file, but is unable to print or edit it. Also notice that her permission to view the document will expire. Now, as she clicks File, notice that the Print and Save options are unavailable. Also notice that she cannot add text to the document or copy any of its contents. As I mentioned, you can set different levels of permission depending on the situation. You can also set different levels of permission to different users and groups in the same document. Finally, imagine that Chase, our document author, has saved this sensitive file to a file share that other users have access to. These users, such as Luke, should not be allowed to access the file. You can see that Luke does not have access to open the file. Users who have not been specifically granted access to a protected document are unable to open it. Unlike traditional information protection mechanisms, such as firewalls and ACLs, Microsoft RMS protection is persistent. 
It will remain with the content until it is modified by the content owner. Luke will now copy the document onto his computer and attempt to open it from his desktop. As Luke attempts to open the file, notice that he receives the same message stating that he does not have permission to access the content. Luke will now attempt to bypass the protection by opening the document through other applications. He will right-click the document and open it through WordPad. Notice that WordPad cannot open the document because it has been protected under Rights Management. He will right-click the document again and open it through Notepad. You can see that the document is encrypted and we are unable to decipher the text. Microsoft RMS uses AES encryption to secure protected documents. In this video, I have demonstrated how you can use Microsoft RMS to secure sensitive Office documents in your organization. You can specify both who can open a protected document and also limit what actions they can take on that document. We have seen that protection remains with the document no matter where it is located, how it is transferred, or what application is used in attempts to access it. Synergy Advisors provides consultancy and training focused on information protection with Microsoft RMS. For more information on how Microsoft RMS can simplify your information protection needs, please visit our website at synergyadvisors.biz or the Microsoft RMS website at microsoft.com rms. Thank you for watching.